Sita. Where have you been? Huh? All the mothers in town will be after Balraj. We'll be at the back of the queue now. Mama, mama, mama. Papa, they've already invoiced us for the paper machinery. Did it arrive in one piece? Just barely. The crooks wanted double deposit in case we are late in our payments. You two spend all day at that useless farm, pushing bills from one side to the other side. This Balraj is the real answer to our problems. Bisli, what are you doing standing here? Go and fix Aap's blue suit for tonight. Come here. Pull out that British tie from Harrods. Oh, it's too much tension for my poor heart. Papa, Papa, this Maya and Mama want me to change now. What's wrong? Wants me to change now. What is wrong I'm with me just, showing? I'll just handle this. You look like a cheap vamp. That's what. Now you go change. Go. Everybody changes. Go. We must get there before that Mrs. Lama gets her claws into him for her chandra. She's ruthless, I tell you. Don't be too eager, Mama. It seems desperate. We are desperate. He's a barrister. Why do I have to always change? Yeah? Quiet, 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 please. It used to be in the family. One voice, everyone listens. Now it's all the voices and no one listens. What nonsense are you talking, old man? All I want is to meet Balraj before he's taken. Is that too much to ask for you, poor wife of 27 years? No, it's... Hold on. <clears throat> we have a... Serious problem. What's wrong? What happens if we meet this young man and he mistakes your mother for one of my beautiful daughters? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bakshi, when I die of tension, then you will know what a good wife I was. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, all of you. Get ready. Change. Come on, hurry up. Your mother tells me you have family in England. Yeah. Our uncle lives in Southall, near London Airport. In Southall? How lovely. Well, I've never been there. I'm told he imports spices. <laughs> oh, how sweet. <laughs> now, Southall? Karen. And what is that supposed to mean? Well, Southall's just so first generation. I mean, I know it's where Indians first went to England, but I just don't know why anyone would stay there. And I thought anyone who'd made it moved out ages ago. Kieran. What? You don't have to. <sighs> that was well done. What? I... Come on. I'm not going to stand by and let some Indian pinting girl trap my brother. But I like Jayers. Just a shame she's from such an inappropriate family. Well, you didn't have to rub their noses in it. Come on, Will. You know it would never work with my family. I mean, my parents would be devastated. No, Mama, I'm not taking the tea to Kohli. Why not? I think you made quite a strong impression on him last night. It won't kill you to take him his tea. And what about him? Did he impress you? Well, you're not at the same table, silly girl. He has a house worth a million dollars. And he knows Amitabh Bachchan. But I refuse to serve him. It's too humiliating. What nonsense are you talking, silly girl? I have taken tea to your father for 27 years. Your father has spoiled you by giving you too many books to read. Maya? Maya! Yes, Mama? Take this tea to Kohli. You go, Peter. Could we fly away? Lie on a cloud all day. Hold hands and get kissed by the sun. Shall we swim out deep? Watch dolphins leap. Like my heart would. Take me to love Things only hurt Now I want to be Oh, 
Hello, madam. What a surprise. Please come in. Will you sit down? Ah, uh, Lolita, may we have a private word, please? Is everything okay? Anne tells me that William is in love with you. Is this true? I... William don't... will marry Anne. They just haven't set a date yet. Just come here. We've known Anne's family for three generations. We're part of a close group. These things still matter. <laughs> it may not be fair, but it's true. Did he propose to you? No. Promise me that you will never marry him, and I will make it worth your while. I don't make promises to my own mother. Why should I promise anything to you? Excuse me. I have to have your word. I have no control over who your son loves or doesn't love. Mrs. Darcy is leaving. What happened, Beta? doing here? I owe you an apology, Belraj. I was wrong about Jaya, and I'm sorry. I'm the last person fit to give you marriage advice. Wow. You admit you were actually wrong about something. Jaya's face when I left her. I don't know how I can face her again. I'm sorry. There's a song in the film called Arrogance, Pride and Vanity, which Ash and Martin sing on the beach in Goa. I took a day out of something else that I was supposed to be doing and I just said, I'm just going to do it on the beach um, myself, the way I want to do it. Um, as it happens, Saraj was there because she was there to do the Ashanti rehearsals. Um, but I devised that song myself and I talked through how I wanted to do it. So I, that's my sort of sort of Andrew Lloyd Webber sort of moment, I think. It's very sort of that sort of style, um, with a bit of Bollywood thrown in. Uh, but I had envisaged it all in terms of focus pulls and them being in the same frame and moving around. And it sort of works, you know. I mean, Saraj came in at one point and sort of helped me finesse it. But it, it's a quite a nice balance of Western and Bollywood. Now, uh, it was cut because it was felt that the movie was too long and we didn't need a song there because we had Go a Groove with Ashanti coming up, so it was felt like we didn't need a song there. And I kind of was always upset about that because it was a, it's, a, it's a great song, I think, and emotionally it really ties up where Lolita and Darcy are at that point in the story. Arrogance, pride and vanity the girl has some audacity What does she know? How is she so sure? Just who is she to judge me? Arrogance, pride and vanity Roll them up, you get Darcy Where has he been and what has he seen? The smile from her eyes is a 
clarity Can't find a thought to which she might agree Rip you to shreds Over jokes she didn't get What a waste God had to make her so pretty Centuries of magic that have made me 